Dutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Fortune Cookie Caper. Glad to see you again, Mr. Cargo. I hope you enjoy your dinner. Thank you, Wong. It was most enjoyable. Paddlefoot and I sure like these fortune cookies. <laughs> Fine. I will get you some more. It's fun to read the fortunes inside the cookies, huh, Clutch? It sure is, Peter. Listen to this one. Adventure will soon find you. It usually does. Hey, Clutch, this one has a message in it for you. Oh, no. It couldn't be. You're right, Spinner. It says, Clutch Cargo, I am being held prisoner in a cookie factory. Your friend, Chin Chu Chow. Who is Chin Chu Chow, Clutch? Chin is an old friend of mine, Spinner. He imports things from the Orient and all over the world. Oh, yes, I remember him. More cookie, Mr. Cargo? Thanks, Wong. And by the way, where did you get these Chinese cookies? All my cookies are imported special for me by Mr. Chin Chu Chow, please. I see. I'd like to buy all you have on hand. Sorry, Mr. Cargo, but this is all I have left. If you wish, you can get more from Mr. Chin. Thanks, Wong. Would you mind putting these cookies in a bag for us? We'll stop by Chin Chu Chow's and pick up some more. Okay, dokie, Mr. Cargo. You and Paddlefoot keep opening those cookies, Spinner. We might find another clue. Here we are, Chin Chu Chow's. But let's not appear too anxious. We don't know what this is all about yet. You never know who's listening. Good afternoon. Is Mr. Chin here? So kind to honor humble house. My master be sad he not here to greet you. It's not important. We just came for cookies. I'll take these. Oh, no, no, no. No, those sold. You take this box. That'll be fine. And please tell Mr. Chin I was in. Certainly, honorable sir. When he returns. Come again, please. Start opening those cookies, Spinner. There must be another message. Gross car. Crutch Cargo, the nosy one, almost take black label cookies. Could be he suspects something. You follow them. If noses get too warm, you know what to do. Find anything, Spinner? Nothing yet. Hey, Paddlefoot thinks he's found something. See what it is, Spinner. It says, where emerald streams meet the southern sea, please come and ask for tea at the lotus tree. What does it mean, Clutch? Emerald streams meet the southern sea. That's Hong Kong. What's the rest? Ask for tea at the lotus tree. Lotus tree. That's the name of a tea house owned by a friend of Jim's. Good boy, Paddlefoot. We've hit pay dirt. We'll pick up our plane and off to Hong Kong. What fantastic adventures await Clutch and company in Hong Kong. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Battlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Fortune Cookie Caper. You remember last time, Clutch Cargo and company were eating at a Chinese restaurant when a waiter brought them their fortune cookies. In one was an urgent message from Chin Chu Chow, who was being held prisoner in a cookie factory. After a short search, Clutch said, Good boy, Paddlefoot. We've hit pay dirt. We'll pick up our plane and off to Hong Kong. Clutch? You and Paddlefoot just keep opening them. There might be another message. Okay. Here, Paddlefoot, have some more cookies. And be careful not to eat the message inside. There's Hong Kong just ahead. Tighten your seatbelt, Spinner. It's plenty tight already, Clutch. I've eaten so many cookies, I feel like I'm going to pop. And you haven't found 
than one single message from Chin Chu. No, but we sure got our fortunes told plenty of times. <laughs> and look at Paddlefoot. He couldn't eat another cookie if he had to. Neither can I, Spitter. Now without a cup of tea to wash it down. We'll land and find a tea house. As I remember, it's right close to the airport. Taxi! Get in, Spinner. The Lotus Tree Tea House, please. How many cookies do we have left, Spinner? No more than a dozen. We'll finish those at the tea house. Wait for us, driver. A pot of tea, please. This is the place Chin's message told us to come to, huh, Clutch? What do we do now? We'll just sit here and wait, Spinner. The Chinese have their own way of doing things. What is it, Paddlefoot? You act as if you're seeing ghosts. There's no one there. Poor fella. He's probably had too many cookies. Your tea, please. And a cookie for you, Mr. Cargo. Oh, but we brought our own cookies. But this is very special cookie. Thank you very much. Oh, I get it. It's our message. Open it, Clutch. What does it say? It says, where the seven dragons come to drink, tis there you'll find a clue, I think. Seven dragons? Gee, you mean there are really dragons? No, Spinner. The Seven Dragons is a street. But what does he mean, comes to drink? I know. The road of Seven Dragons ends at the water. That's what he means, comes to drink. Let's go. Will Clutch and Company be safe on the street of the Seven Dragons? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Fortune Cookie Caper. You remember last time, Clutch and Company, after finding an urgent message in a Chinese fortune cookie, started for Hong Kong in search of Chin Chu Chow, who was being held prisoner. Their objective, to find the Lotus Tree Tea House on the Street of the Seven Dragons. the street of seven dragons, driver. What do we look for when we get there, Clutch? I don't know, Spinner. Let's wait and see. Gee, maybe we'll find a place where Mr. Chin is held prisoner. Maybe, Spinner. But we've got to be careful. Whoever is holding Chin prisoner is playing for very big stakes. But, Clutch, why in a cookie factory? What does a cookie have to do with it? It occurs to me, Spinner, that if my friend Chin can conceal a message in the cookie, other things can be concealed in a cookie. Things of great value. Like a diamond, maybe? Could be, Spinner. Could be. There's the end of the street. And there's a cookie factory. Gee, it looks deserted, doesn't it? Yes, it does, Spinner. Let's go in and have a look around. Be careful. And keep your eyes open. Looks like they moved out in a hurry. Gosh, I guess we're too late. Maybe not, Spinner. Chin hasn't steered us wrong yet. Look around for a clue. Look, Spinner. 
This empty box has the same label on it as the one we saw in Chin's store. Yeah. That clerk was sure upset when you started to take one. That's right, Spinner. And I have a feeling we're getting awful close to... Whoa, whoa. Clutch! Paddyfoot's found another cookie! Open it up, Spinner, and see what the message says. The secret door to success does not always lead up. Be aware of the step without a stair. Strange. Now, what would that mean? What's a step without a stair? I don't know, Spinner. But it must... It must have something to do with a secret door. Wow! What happened? That was a step without a stair the message referred to. But who tripped the trap? I don't know, Spinner. But if we can get out of here, I intend to find out. Clutch Cargo and Spinner. Why, Chin Chu Chow. Are you all right? Yes, Clutch. I see you got my message. We sure did, Chin. But I'm afraid we deciphered the last one too late. What's this all about? Smugglers, Clutch. They're smuggling black pearls and my fortune cookies. Gee, Mr. Chin. And they left you in this dungeon? That's right, Spinner. And there's no way out. Wow! Clutch and company with Chin Chu Chow in a dungeon and no way to escape. What will happen? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Fortune Cookie Caper. You remember last time, Clutch and Company flew to Hong Kong in search of an old friend, Chin Chu Chow. Suddenly, Paddlefoot found another message, which finished with, Beware of the step without a stair. It didn't take long to find the meaning because suddenly... Wow! What happened? That was the step without a stair the message referred to. But who tripped the trap? I don't know, Spinner. But if we can get out of here, I intend to find out. Clutch Cargo and Spinner. Why, Chin Chu Chow. Are you all right? Yes, Clutch. I see you got my message. We sure did, Chin. But I'm afraid we deciphered the last one too late. What's this all about? Smugglers, Clutch. They're smuggling black pearls and my fortune cookies. Gee, Mr. Chin. And they left you in this dungeon? That's right, Spinner. And there's no way out. You, you mean we're trapped down here till someone finds us? Why, we could starve to death. Oh, no, we won't starve. In the storeroom where I've been sleeping, there are over 300 boxes of fortune cookies. I baked them myself. Oh, gee. Did you say 300 cookie boxes? That's right, Clutch. That's enough to last us for months. It's also enough to get us out of here. What do you mean, Clutch? 300 cookie boxes will build a stairway up to that trap door. Everything okay, Clutch? Come on up. It's all clear. <coughs> Whoever sprung that trap is gone. It must have been one of the pearl smugglers. Now that we're free, we can go after him. You mean you know where he's going? Yes. He's taking the fortune cookies with the black pearls inside back to my shop. Let's get a rickshaw and get out to the airport. Rickshaw! Rickshaw! Hey, that's the guy that brought us here. He must have tripped the trap. Why, that's Hank the Hatchet. He's the one who locked me up. He's one of the pearl smugglers. Here comes another taxi. Rickshaw. Rickshaw. Follow that other rickshaw. He's heading for the airport. Climbing a 
aboard. And what's that ticking noise? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot. In another exciting adventure, the Fortune Cookie Caper. You remember last time, Clutch and company arrived in Hong Kong and located their old friend. Clutch used cookie boxes to get them out of the dungeon. Once more, they began their search, this time for valuables and the man responsible for all the trouble. Hey, Clutch, what's that ticking noise? I hear two spinner. Take a look around. Why, it's a box of cookies, but it ticks. I never heard of ticking cookies. Ticking cookies? That's a bomb. Get rid of it quick. B but how, Clutch? The cockpit is sealed. <laughs> Dump it down the flare hatch. Hurry. We ditched that thing just in time. Wow, we sure did. Hatchet's plane is out of sight. He has a good lead on us. You can see we are dealing with most ruthless people. Do you know who's behind this gang, Chin? Yes, Clutch. I believe it's my store clerk, Mr. Fang. Uh-huh. This is beginning to make sense. Yeah. And remember how strange he acted when you started to take that box of cookies with a black label? I sure do, Spinner. We've got to stop them before those cookies are delivered. I see Hatchet's play now. He's just ahead and below us. We're going up to 40,000 feet. We'll make much better speed up in the jet stream. Mr. Fang has probably gone to meet Hank the Hatchet. We'll go inside and wait for them. They should be here any minute. Boy, will they be surprised. Clutch, there is a motorcycle coming. It could be them. That's them, all right. Quiet, everyone. It's cargo. Get him. No more tricks, boys. Your little game is over. That's the end of your cookie caper, boys. Better start opening the rest of these fortune cookies. The authorities want all the smuggled pearls. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> 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 and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Cookie Caper. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo.